Hi Leo, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading for the next three months. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Leo, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge for the next three months is the Five of Cups. And Leo, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Cups upright, okay? So your biggest challenge here is the Five of Cups. Now the Five of Cups can mean a number of things. This could be a disappointment that happened in your life. This could be somebody who enters into a third party with you. This could be um, something here that you thought would work out you know, may not end up working out, or this could be the fact that you may find it challenging that a certain person that you thought was meant to be for you ends up not being for you. And there may be someone else or something else coming in. We're gonna clarify the five of cups. We're gonna see why it's your challenge, what you need to know in a moment. Now in the recent past, Leo, you have the temperance, the fool, and you have the 10 of swords. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel there was a major ending that happened in your life in the past. And this ending, you know, it took place. It was a very painful ending. There could have been a, you know, painful divorce, breakup. Uh, maybe you ended some sort of um, friendship here. Could have been a collaboration here in the past. Either way, it took you some time to have some sort of new beginning, okay? So a lot of you embarked on a new beginning in the past, but it took you time to even do that or to even find the confidence to have some sort of new beginning in the past. And we're gonna clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now, Leo, for you in the present moment, you have the five of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, and you have the six of swords. So in the present moment, there is this energy of insecurity, okay? There's this energy of, you know, should I leave this situation? Should I move away from this situation? Should I work on this situation? Should I make the situation better? Um, there's a very strong energy here of wanting to leave something. This could be a person, place, or thing in the present moment. And I feel like a lot of you are gonna be moving or you're planning on moving away from something or someone. This could be connected to your work, your job, or this could also be um, connected to you working things out with a particular person. So we're gonna clarify this. We're gonna get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the near future, you have the Two of Cups, you have the Nine of Swords, and you have the Seven of Pentacles. So for you in the near future, I see a relationship here. I see a partnership of some sort. Okay, now this could be a relationship that you're already in, or this could simply be a relationship that's coming into your life. We're going to talk about that in a moment. Uh, you have the Nine of Swords here and the Seven of Pentacles, so you could be reevaluating a relationship. You could be reevaluating maybe an investment, money that you're putting into a relationship, money that you're putting into investments. There is some sort of trauma or some sort of worry here in the near future, and we're going to talk about that. We're going to see why that's coming up for you in a moment. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Cups upright you have the two of pentacles you have the eight of cups so there's a choice here okay um what you don't see coming there the choice here has a lot to do with someone that you love okay it could be a water sign i'm getting a pisces here maybe a taurus i'm also getting a scorpio sun moon arising virgo is here so this is somebody who's very feminine i'm getting a feminine like energy a dual sign to you um or an opposite to you and this person it says loyalty here, okay? So the cup, the cup, the page of cups card is the card in this deck is the card of loyalty. And you, as a Leo, you tend to be very loyal. Leos tend to be very loyal because they love from the heart. And you know, they're loyal like the lion. The lion is loyal to whoever feeds it, right? <laughs> so for many of you, what you don't see coming is the fact that there could be a choice or a decision to forgive someone and possibly maybe work things out with them. 
or to completely release them and let them go. Um, and this is about you moving forward, whether or not you're ready to move forward with somebody here that you know, you've been testing or they've been testing you. So there's something here about a twin flame connection or a soul connection because the two of cups is here. So we're going to talk about this. We're going to get into your reading. We're going to do some clarification and we're going to see what's going on for you. Okay, let's clarify the five of cups. Tell me about Leo's challenge, the five of cups. Why is it here? What do they need to know? So the five of cups is clarified by the chariot, the ace of cups and the wheel of fortune. Wow. And at the bottom of the deck, Leo, there you are the queen of wands. So this is a very important message for you for over the next three months. There may be something really important here that you should know. Now, for many of you, your challenge has a lot to do with love. It, it's talking about a new beginning that's coming in for you over the next three months, whether this has happened already or um, <clears throat> it is something that's coming into your life. And again, we're all on different timelines. Okay. So uh, your timeline and another Leo's timeline may be very different. Some Leos may experience this faster than, than you or vice versa. Your biggest challenge here is to recognize when something that is a part of your destiny, something that is meant for you. And this is about your love life whether or not you should move on, move forward with it. Okay. Cause something shows up over the next three months for you that really feels good. It feels comfortable. It feels like it's meant to be. It's like when you try a pair of shoes on and they just fit right. Uh, you know that those shoes are for you. So there's definitely something here about a lover in your life. Somebody sees you or you see them and everything lines up for you in this person. And your challenge here is not to look at what failed in the past or what didn't work out. And I'm, you know, I'm not discrediting, not looking back at the past. Hindsight is 2020. So you should be reevaluating your past. So you don't repeat the same mistakes, but this is about you recognizing what is meant for you, what is truly meant for you and feeling comfortable enough to move forward with it. Because what I feel for you is going to be your biggest challenge over the next three months is recognizing what is for you, what is a part of your destiny and finding the confidence to actually move forward towards it because it's for you. And some of you may be clouded because something here happened in the past where there was a third party you were cheated on, lied to, and you may be assuming that this new love that's coming in your life might do the same. It's like, well, what if they do the same thing? You know, what if they take advantage of me or what if they lie or cheat or, you know, what if they don't really love me, but the signs are there. So, and the wheel of fortune is all about signs, right? And as we go into the new season, which is fall, and then eventually we're going to move into winter it's really important that you recognize the signs and you continue to recognize the signs connected to a new love that's actually meant to be in your life. Okay. Because again, these signs are going to come in. It's going to feel like this person, you may question this person at times, but what spirit is saying is you don't need to question them because the signs are there. And every time you look at the signs and you see the signs, it's something that is reassuring you that this is the one, this is the person that you're meant to be with. So your challenge here is not to just look at the past and assume that what happened in the past is going to repeat itself, but rather look at the signs that are showing you that this person who's coming in is actually the type of person, even though you may um, question it. This may be the one, this may be the one that, um, <laughs> you're finally ready to move uh, forward with. And some of you haven't met this person or some of you will, some of you may get married. Okay. Um, could be a Capricorn. I'm getting a Taurus here, maybe a cancer, uh, Scorpio I'm seeing. I'm also getting an Aquarius or a Pisces. Cancer is also strong here too. Okay. And that's going to be your biggest challenge. Now let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the ten of swords. Something ended really badly here in the past for, you know, it was super painful. I feel like you were at rock bottom with yourself. Um, you may have felt like, Oh, my life, you know, there's, there's only going up from here really in the past. You could have felt stabbed in the back. You could have, um, some of you were like maybe on drugs or you hit rock bottom. There was something here that concluded in your life. 
Um, and it, but it took you time. It took you time to move on from this in the past. Queen of Wands, King of Swords, and the Four of um, Wands. There was children involved or there was a very serious relationship that you were involved in and it did come to an end. It was a very painful ending. A lot of you may have felt like it was time for you to end things with this person, even though you really loved them and there could have been children involved here. Um, some of you recognized or realized that this person wasn't really for you, but it took you a long time to end the relationship here. Some of you um, in the past, you started a new relationship with a Pisces, a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo, a Cancer here in the past. There was this slight energy of feeling rejected by you in the past. That's why something here took a long time because you were still getting over a painful ending here. Tell me more about the fool for Leo in the recent past. You have the nine of swords, you have the world, and you have the ace of swords. So in the recent past with the ace of swords, I feel like you finally got clear on why something ended. A lot of you were worried about an ending. You may have said like, I don't want this situation to end. If it ends, my life is over. But you really wanted clarity on why it came to an end. And over time, I feel like you did eventually get clarity on it because you may have came to this conclusion that whatever you ended or whatever ended badly for you in the past was really not for you. And this is why your challenge is the five of cups with the wheel of fortune, because what spirit is saying to you over the next three months is, Hey, hello, I'm sending you messages. <laughs> I'm sending you, um, you know, uh, angel numbers. I'm set, you know, I'm sending you certain, uh, events, certain frequencies, certain things present themselves in your life that are magical. And that's how you got over this situation that ended badly in the past because you realized, first of all, let me talk about the temperance in the past. I just want to mention this, the healing card. This is a healing card in this tarot deck. The temperance is a very interesting card because it doesn't just represent one thing. It's a sa it's, it's connected to Sagittarius and Sagittarius. When you look at Sagittarius, um, you know, it is a centurion, right? The centurion is half man, half horse, right? Um, or half women, half horse, how, you know, however you want to interpret it. But it's almost like there's a dual frequency there. And, you know, Sagittarius is a dual sign because it is connected to the mutable, um, signs like Gemini, Virgo, and Pisces. So there is no one energy when it comes to the temperance. There's a dualistic energy here. And it's a very um, interesting energy because what it's actually connected to is it's actually connected to the physical world and the spiritual world. Okay. So the two cups don't only represent time. They also represent, you know, the change of elements, you know, um, water putting out fire, spiritual realm to the physical realm. So this is what you learned. There was a huge change in maybe how you looked at things in the past because you started to become more spiritual. And this is what helped you, Leo, to have some sort of new beginning, close something out instead of continuously worrying about it. Cause you were worried about something here and you wanted answers in the past. Okay. So I see something new started here. You finally found the courage to do that. Now in the present moment, there is this huge question mark. And the question mark here is, should I stay or go? Should I abandon this situation? Should I hold on to it? This is connected to your work. It could also be connected to something you're working on, or it could be connected to you working on a relationship or leaving a relationship. So let's clarify, uh, let's clarify the five of pentacles in the present moment for Leo. What do they need to know? Okay, so the five of pentacles is clarified by the knight of wands. You have the moon and you have the three of wands. Yes, okay. So this is a side note, okay? Um, Cause I'm usually picking up different stories throughout the reading. So this may resonate with you. If you've been dealing with someone who's been on and off with you for quite some time, could be an air sign, maybe a Gemini. I'm getting a Pisces here. I'm getting an Aries, um, a Taurus here. I feel like someone here is gonna reach out, okay, to you. And it could be this person who's been very uh, nonchalant with you. Some of you are dealing with someone who's been on and off or you've been on and off with them. And for many of you, you may be on and off with this person. You may not be really showing your true intentions or true feelings towards this person. And the reason why this may be happening is because you may have been hurt by this person or you may have been hurt in the past and you haven't completely healed from the situation. Either way, this person is slowly moving towards you and I feel like they are gonna speak to you. This is connected to your work or it could be connected to this person working things out with you. Someone in the present moment wants to have a new beginning with you, but 
you're being very cautious because there's something that you're hiding, okay, or you're not expressing. And you may not be expressing, okay, Leo, because something in your life in the present moment is losing value, okay? And you feel that. You're like, okay, this is losing value. It's not as maybe valuable as it was before. I gotta make some sort of move. So there's a lack of consistency here in the present moment because there's some sort of insecurity. I feel like you're holding the secure insecurity very close to your chest. Um, one of the energies that I feel in the present moment for you is you're all about moving forward. So whatever is not working for you in the present moment, especially during this solar eclipse in Libra and all the other full moons and stuff that are happening, which we're going to talk about, you know, in the readings that I do, uh, for you over time, I feel like in the present moment, there's this huge, huge desire to, uh, move towards what is working and leaving behind what is not working. Okay, because, and, and the reason why you're doing this, I feel is because you're hurt. Something hurts you so badly that you may be saying to yourself, I don't need to express how I feel to people, or I don't need to express how I feel to situations that are not um, valuable to me anymore. So in the present moment, this is about you recognizing what doesn't work anymore and, and, and leaving it behind. Look, six of swords and the eight of pentacles. And this is a part of your challenge because a lot of you are looking at what didn't work or what failed, but you're also not seeing what will work for you. And what will work for you is actually a part of your destiny and it's not something that you have to fight for and it's not something that is going to be resistant. It's just gonna be something that flows the way that it needs to, okay? Tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles. What's the important message for Leo in the present moment? So the eight of pentacles is clarified by the three of cups, the star and the four of cups. I do feel that if you've, um, if you've disconnected from someone, um, I do feel like in the present moment, they do want to reconcile with you. Okay. Um, this is someone that you've had really difficult times with and you ended up walking away from this person or they walked away from you could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. I'm also getting a Scorpio here. I'm getting an Aquarius, a cancer possibly, or a Capricorn Virgo. So this person is, um, over the next three months, I feel like they are going to reach out to you, could be a Pisces, and they're going to try to have a new beginning with you. But when they try to have a new beginning with you, you've already made plans to move or you've already made plans to disconnect. And I see you disconnecting. And this is why the Six of Swords is here. A lot of you were rejected by this person. Okay, in the past. Or um, again, there was a third party or somebody here didn't see your value in the past. And this is why a lot of you are not afraid to completely go off and be on your own or go off and pursue what you want to do. Tell me more about the Six of Swords in the present moment for Leo. What do they need to know? What is the important message? The Six of Swords is clarified by the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords. Yeah, I just said that. Somebody in the present moment hurts you. They know they hurt you. They know they caused pain. They know that you gave more to the situation than they gave, or maybe they gave more to the situation. You gave less something here um, in the present moment is out of balance. Okay. And this is why somebody here is leaving you or your person. Somebody here is choosing to leave. And I feel like when this person finally leaves, it's too late because somebody comes back around. They want to reconcile. They want to talk about the future. They want to work on things, but it may be too late because this person's already left or disconnected. And again, this has a lot to do with the imbalance within relationships. And as I'm doing this reading, we're having a full moon in Aries and we're having um, a solar eclipse in Libra. So this is about the um, the nodes in astrology, Rahu and K2 are moving. And this, uh, this is affecting everybody. So this is a lot to do with your relationships. Uh, and this is why the five of cups is here because a lot of you are reminiscing about things that are not working instead of focusing on what does. And this is what you're learning in the present moment, not to continue feeding into something that isn't for you because a lot of you in the present moment are preparing something. You're planting a seed and you're doing something that's going to lead to a lot of financial abundance. And what's going to happen is a tower moment's going to happen a breakup. Maybe you're disconnecting from something, something here that was very long standing for many years is going to crumble and you're going to plant a new seed and it's going to lead to tons and tons of success for you. Look, and you've already started this. And that's when this person finally comes back around. You're like, Oh, it's too late. I'm gone. So this is what's happening over the next three months that you don't see. It's, it's a very interesting energy. So let's talk about the near future. Cause in the near future, I feel an important relationship is coming into your life. You have the two of cups here. 
So let's talk about this important relationship that's coming in for you. Let's clarify the Two of Cups. Seven of Cups. Okay. Tell me more. You have the Five of Cups and you have the Six of Swords. So in the near future, I really strongly feel with the Two of Cups, somebody here is devastated that you've left or disconnected. I see you leaving or disconnecting or this person leaving or disconnecting. And here's the reason why it may happen. And this may happen around the full moon, either in uh, November or December. And this is something you need to be aware of. There's something here about a third party or somebody keeping their options open. And this is why in the present moment, it's important that you make clear what you want. Okay. Because your challenge is the five of cups. So for many of you in the near future, the seven of cups is here because somebody has options. And one of the things I want to say to you is if you're in a third party in the near future, you're in a third party in the near future because you're not recognizing the signs. It becomes extremely obvious when something is not for you because you force it. For example, I'm just going to say this because there's a lesson to be learned here. I'm seeing 655 on the clock. You're going to want to check out what 655 angel number means because in the near future, there's an important message connected to that. When you ignore the signs, okay, some of you are dating somebody. I did mention this. You're dating someone who's been on and off with you or they're giving less to you or you're giving more to the situation and you're still entertaining that. If that's your story, this is about self-respect. This is about recognizing what you truly deserve. So, you know, around the full moon in Aries, which is when I'm doing this, um, those of you who have worked on yourself, if you've worked on yourself and you've built your confidence up and you've recognized and realized your value, then when the full moon in Aries happens or when the new moon in Aries happens, you, you already passed that test. You've already learned, but some of you don't. Okay. So what ends up happening is there's a disappointment in love and it's not going to, that's not going to happen for everyone. Some of you are going to pass the test. Why? Because you've worked on yourself. So when you ignore the signs about someone coming into your life, who's actually meant for you and you end up choosing somebody who's not, this is why a relationship may fail. So how are you going to know when something is not for you? I'm going to tell you how, because you start to worry about it all the trauma from the past starts to come up. You know, you might start hyperventilating. You might start feeling like you're not worthy. You might. And when you get into this mode, you need to reevaluate not only your relationships, but reevaluate yourself and your vision. And this is about having balance between your relationships and yourself. Because the problem here, Leo, oftentimes as a Leo is you tend to be overgiving. Because everything's coming from the heart, right? You tend to be overgiving. So what ends up happening is there's a choice between forgiving somebody, okay, and letting them back in and completely moving forward with maybe someone you walked away from or disconnected from. Some of you have already moved forward with maybe someone from the past, but either way, you're going to know when something is for you and when it's not, because there is a new beginning here in the near future and you are going to be tested, to see if this person's actually worthy and meant for you. Tell me more about the nine of swords for Leo in the near future. What do they need to know? So the nine of swords is clarified by the strength. You have the queen of swords and you have the emperor. So in the near future, um, I feel like this could be your person or it could be you. There's something here about you finally turning your back on a specific person. The reason why you, and again, this reading is not for all of you. Some of you have perfect lives and you're, you've already passed all your tests. You know, if you're someone who's passed all your tests, um, you know, you've been through trauma, you overcame that, you healed from that. Now you're living a great and amazing life. This may not be your reading, but for those of you who are still in the process of learning, this could be for you in the near future. There's something here, Leo, about you finding and having the self-confidence to say no to somebody could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm also getting in Aries here. So it's like you say no to this person. You turn your back on this person because what you're finally learning by the end of the year is 
not everybody deserves my time. Not everybody deserves my energy because whoever's coming towards you in the near future, they need to come towards you with stability, with wisdom, with knowledge. Okay. Because right now in the present moment, the issue is the fact that, you know, it's time for you to leave what is not serving you. And when I mean something is not serving you, I'm talking about the five of pentacles. Something here is completely lost value in the present moment. And you feel that. And that's why you're, you're, you're staying undercover or you're not really saying much about the situation because you've already made plans to leave or disconnect. So in the near future, there's a lot of worry and trauma about turning your back on this person or disconnecting from the situation, but that's what you're doing. You're reevaluating your life here. You're reevaluating your vision because a lot of you have been maybe putting others before yourself. And this could be the reason why a lot of you haven't been able to maybe work things out with a lover or there's been issues with a lover, but it looks like in the near future, you start to make room for what's truly for you. And that's how the lovers comes in. The two of cups comes in because you're finally making room for that relationship or that soulmate that's coming in. Cause there's a lot of distractions here in the near future with the seven of cups, but you start to get very stern here. By the way, the queen of swords is here in the near future. The queen of swords is very dry. She's cut and dry. She doesn't waste time. Um, she's going to tell it like it is. And when she tells it like it is, a lot of people aren't going to like her. And this is what I see ha is happening for you. And this is a part of some sort of vision. Okay. And there's that loyalty card again, right? You know, it's like in the near future, there's, there's a choice here to determine what you should be loyal to and what you should completely abandon and let go of eight of cups. And this has been a hard thing for you. But by the end of the year, you've already, it seems like you're already on that path to make that decision. So let's clarify the seven of seven of pentacles. By the way, I just saw five, five, five on the clock. I saw two, five, five, five. So there's a big change that's coming by the end of the year. Your whole life is going to change. Um, so there could be an important message there. I recommend looking up two, five, five, five to see what the important angel message is about the future. And this is about reevaluating your vision in life. So the seven of pentacles is clarified by the queen of pentacles. You have the four of pentacles and you have the page of cups. The page of cups is showing up here in the near future as well as in terms of what you don't see coming. Um, there's somebody really important that's going to come into your life. I feel like this could be a new love. There's like a flirting energy or like a young person coming into your life. If this is somebody you've been dating for a while, I see them coming back around and you're going to re reevaluate how this person fits into your vision in your life. This is an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm also getting a Pisces. Okay. And at the bottom here, yeah, seven of swords. So again, a lot of you are learning to block people who are just there to take advantage of you. By the end of the year, people who are saying one thing and they're doing something different and, you know, they're really just there to take from you and not to really be there to really be there to bring value. You're blocking yourself off from those people to make room for the right people. Yeah. Okay. So let's get some advice for you. What's the advice for Leo? Your advice, Leo, is the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and you have the Seven of Cups. Wow. This is, <laughs> this is a message for you. It's a big message. So your biggest piece of advice here for the next three months, okay, is to recognize who is bringing security into your life, who is bringing stability into your life. The King of Pentacles is someone who's extremely stable, okay? Extremely stable. They're grounded. They could be, you know, someone who does very well financially. And then you also have somebody here who is very, you know, charming. They're very romantic, but they're not emotionally stable. They're, you know, they're there when they need something from you. And then when they don't need something from you, they're gone. You know exactly who I'm talking about. You need to recognize the difference between these two energies in your life, because this is what's creating issues in your life. This is what's creating confusion. This is stopping you from realizing your full potential. Okay. And as you can see with the Knight of Cups here, there's a full moon here. So you need to watch the full moons over the next three months, because when those full moons happen, this person who's in and out, in and out of your life, that's when they come back around because they need you. They're vulnerable. So this is about the seven of cups. Do not be disillusioned by people who are only 
there to take from you. People who are only there for their own benefit. Look at the people who have st stood by your side through thick and thin. Look at the people who are bringing security in your life because those are the people you should be focusing on instead of focusing on the people who are inconsistent. And when you start to focus on the people who actually are there because they genuinely want to be in your life, once you focus on those people and you remove all the other distractions and things that are not important to you, that's when you're going to be able to finally achieve this huge vision that you have for your life. Okay. So Leo, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.